Hello and welcome to another IC3D Quick Byte. In today's Quick Byte, we're going to be taking a look at the special effects menu and more specifically how to apply holographic print effects. Now I've got this little setup for us to look at today. The setup I've got here is just a small little perfume bottle with a 2x2 two two inch label on the front. Now what I've called out is a spot color at the top and as well as just a blank background, so very basic artwork. So what I want to do today is actually change this paper substrate into a holographic substrate. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that today and it's actually quite simple. The first thing you want to do is go inside of your special effects window. And that's window special effects if you don't already have that open. Next, we're going to want to go all the way down to the bottom for holograms. This is going to be our holographic pattern creator. Go ahead and select that button, and it should open up our holographic editor. And in this case, a quick rundown of what this uh, and kind of what we're seeing. We've got an editor on the left here. This is going to preview the holographic image that we're going to be using. And on the right side is our actual preview of how the holographic image will look in our standard view as well as the ray traced view. First step we're going to want is importing a base image. Clicking the import image, we can then import any kind of holographic pattern that we would like. Now I've got a couple that I've made myself from some pixels to a couple stars. This can really be any kind of image that has variation in not only the color of it, but in what it is. So things like this nebula, or even a very complex swirl pattern. Today I'm just going to be looking at these triangles and all we have to do is select the image we'd like to use and hit open. And that is actually all of the work done. All we had to do was import that image and IC3D intuitively took that and was able to then display it on our preview. And as you can see, each one of those individual colors or shades that have been called out in the image will then present itself as a different color as our holographic or in this case our lighting previews over top. Now of course we can do this with a multitude of different images so don't be afraid to play around and have some fun with these uh, with this editor. And then going back to my editor we can have a couple more tools that we can play around with. The first one being a crop Tool. If we ever needed to crop any of the uh, unsightly images we don't want in our image, we also have a step and repeat tool. This will go ahead and use these intuitive small sliders to help create a more varied pattern. The next we have is, of course, rotation. This will just simply rotate the image and, of course, the delete key. Now from there we can also select an individual color to refine the angle, meaning if we wanted this shade, we could actually change that shade, the period, and angle. Changing these numbers will adjust the color of the shade. Once you're happy, and of course checking out the ray traced view just to make sure everything is looking good, we can then go ahead and hit the export to material editor, and this will send our creation over to the material editor, where we can then finalize and adjust refraction, shininess, transparency, and any other effect that we'd like. Being able to then swap between the ray traced and standard to make sure that it does look exactly how we want it to. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and hit Save As. Saving this new material as, let's say, Triangles. Mm, hollow. And I'm going to save this in a new category just called Holographic. Hitting Save. This will then save our new material inside of our material library, allowing us to go back to our material library find that category called holographic and select our new triangle hollow. Once here we can grab that hollow and just drag it onto our new material or in this case our new label and we can see how that comes out and plays across our label. 
what if we just wanted to simply add that material to the spot color I called out above? What we'll need to do first is simply go back to a paper material for our label, going over to our printed card and using something like matte paper. And then next, we have to call out the spot color just as we would with a, any other spot color or spot effect. Once our spot effect menu appears, select your spot color and simply find the material that we were previously using in our material category holographic and triangles hollow. Hitting OK, we'll then replace our spot color with our new holographic effect. Remember to adjust your lighting rig accordingly as it will depend on what type of lighting rig you will have to exaggerate the holographic features. Thank you so much for joining me, Adam Chop, as I showed you a little bit about the special effects menu and creating and applying a holographic pattern.